happy couple Dave and Geraldine want to take things to the next level. They want to be married. But until now, children, full-time studies and life got in the way. Not anymore. They're getting €10,000 to have their big day. They just have to agree in the presence of a lawyer that Dave will organise it all by himself. They'll have no contact, no phones and just three weeks. I think he knows it's serious. A wedding has to happen at the end of this. <laughs> will Dave rise to the challenge? My heart's just not in it. I think I'd be, I'd be disappointed. With Geraldine's heart be in it? I'd be disappointed. I'm not going to go through all this and be disappointed on my own day. Will the groom have grooming problems? The bridesmaids were easier to dress. These two bloody prima donnas. I want this, I want that, I don't like it. What could possibly go wrong? We've still got no suits, no cake, no photographer, no flowers. We're over budget, we're totally underplanned. If it comes together, I'd be very surprised. Just remember the golden rule. Don't tell the bride. Geraldine and Dave met on a night out in Galway. We met in a nightclub called Karma when Dave was working as a doorman. Once he saw me, he just couldn't get enough, you know, he wouldn't leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> kept asking for a phone number. <laughs> Being cheeky, so why not? If you don't ask, you don't get. Luckily I got. That's you, 100%. Yeah. If you don't ask, you don't get. Yeah. Geraldine has a busy life looking after her two boys, Jack and Ethan. I had um, a son from a previous relationship and he was 18 months when Dave met him. His name is Ethan. Ethan has Hunter syndrome. It's a, it's a metabolic disease and he's, he's always going to be getting worse with it. He's never going to get it's better. Pro it's a progressive syndrome. But at the moment he's doing well and I mean he's, his health and everything is steady at the moment. She is absolutely thrilled to be marrying Dave, you know, and I'm happy for the two of them. And it's lovely for Ethan and Jack to see their parents get married. Everybody agrees that Geraldine and Dave are indeed the perfect couple. When she talks about them, her eyes seem to light up. They refer to each other as baby all the time. They can't walk back to each other kissing each other on the lips. They're just a really nice, loving, warm couple. And they're totally off the wall as well. I mean, Ger's got this mad Elvis fascination. My God, Geraldine and Elvis. That's her second love in life. And it's Elvis fan Geraldine who certainly wears the blue suede shoes in this relationship. Geraldine's the voice of reason, definitely. Yeah, I'd be the one that watches the money. I'd spend every penny and not even think about it. <laughs> Hopefully I'm gonna pull us off without running out of money halfway through. Oh God, dude. I yeah. know, yeah, yeah. No, I'll, have a, I'll have a dress, a venue, no cake, no invitation, no food. You know, but, you know <laughs> the stuff I do have would be brilliant. That hasn't given me any confidence. <laughs> so in the words of Elvis, what Dave needs now is a little less conversation and a little more action, because he has to get this right. I'm going to live by the manager for the next three weeks. What would Geraldine do? Oh, baby. What would Geraldine do is a good way to live. <laughs> way to live. For three weeks, what Geraldine will do is nothing. Today, Dave moves out. The next time they meet, it will be to say, I do. I'm excited to be able to plan the wedding for Geraldine and for myself. Be able to put some of my more imaginative ideas into action, see what I can get away with. I'm going to miss Jack and Ethan. Yeah, it's going to be unnerving, to be honest. To go back in my own mum and dad's house and without one of the boys. And right now, it's, it's OK. I'm feeling that's fine. I can do this. You know, it's only three weeks. I've, I've, I've been away from them before for small amounts of time. But I'm sure if you ask me tomorrow or the next day when they're actually not here, it'll be, it'll be a different answer. Say bye, Daddy. Say bye, Daddy. Me too. You're a good baby. Oh. We'll be good. Daddy, we'll go too. Daddy be good. kiss. Bye. Be good. Bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Love you too, Jack. Drive safely. Bye, Dad. Aww. All right, boys. It's mom and her two boys. You're going to be the two best boys in the world? Yeah. No. Boys. <laughs> Great. It's really surreal having, having left the house and, not, and knowing you can't go back. It's mad that I'm not able to go back now for, for three weeks. I'm feeling anxious, nervous, a little bit lonely already, actually. 
Well, I'm already looking forward to three weeks time. I wanted to go fast now, <laughs> faster than any other three weeks. Feels like a bit of a, like a child waiting for Christmas, the countdown to Christmas now. That's kind of what it feels like. And what better Christmas present than the perfect wedding? Dave arrives back home, and though he has a lot on his mind, it's not him that his mother Florence is worried about. So how's Geraldine doing? I'd say she's not well at this particular hour, huh? given, given that I'm not there. But uh, I'd say she'll be okay, I hope. At least Dave has a chance to impress the family with some of his brilliant ideas. So I was thinking of having Elvis, you know, swinging in on a, on a rope to do this service. What do you think, yeah? <laughs> he'd always surprise you, you know. I wouldn't know what he'd be coming up with, you know. <laughs> he gets uh, things into his mind that he wants to do, you know, and he'll do it. Dad was definitely impressed. It seems that when it comes to weddings, Dave has a lot to learn. But he also has to keep up his studies as a mature student at NUI Galway. I have a goal. We have a certain time frame. We only have three weeks to organise it. So the wedding has to be the priority. I can make up for it afterwards. When the college work piles on as well, I think I'll get a bit stressed. May even be a few bags under my eyes from staying up too late studying. It's a shame he's not studying accountancy, because that's a skill Dave is badly in need of. I'm frivolous with, with money, so I've, I've taken extra care to, uh, to divide up things into budget. I kind of think in percentages, so hopefully I'll be able to come in under budget and get the surprises I'd like to. He loves a challenge. I just hope he doesn't see this as a challenge and, and not a wedding. That, that was what I would be worried about. I want to get each little part of the day and mess with it a little bit so that it's, uh, so that it's just slightly different and a little bit unexpected. Now everybody knows that Geraldine loves Elvis. So what could be better than an Elvis-themed wedding? OK, so we're going to start a few basic moves now from Burning Love, OK? So you're going to kick your feet and you're going to go one, two... Yeah, a themed wedding is the worst thing he could do. An Elvis Presley impersonator is the worst thing he could do. OK. <laughs> Too late. This groom is a hunk of burning love. And he's already found an Elvis show to teach him how to dance like the king. <laughs> Next, Dave has recruited the services of his best man, Gavin for that moment that every girl dreams of. When two men buy your wedding dress. She's probably been imagining, imagining it since you know she was four or five years old. So there's quite a lot at stake here. I have an idea of a picture in my head that I'm gonna try and match. I don't know if it even exists, but uh, I'm gonna try and get it as close to the, the picture I have of her in her wedding dress that's in my head. I hope. <laughs> Is the satin. Dave's search for the picture in his head starts here. Let's hope Geraldine is in the picture as well. I want to stay away from the white as well. I like the, the champagne -y and the, the off whitey colours. The ivory. The ivory. Yeah, the ivory. That I like. Yeah, Excellent. that's right. Okay. Perfect. You seem to have a good grasp on it. Well, I what wouldn't about... say grasp. <laughs> <laughs> what about this type I like of... this. I like this. De I like the detail, but against the satin, so I'm not into that. Okay. I don't think he's going to listen to anybody else's opinion. He will be the one that'll tell them what he likes and what he doesn't like, regardless of what someone else might say. It's very flower child, isn't it? He won't be told, basically, what, what I should wear. He will know, he'll be convinced he knows. Yeah, it's lovely, but it's not fitting the idea I have in my brain. <laughs> Excellent, now we'll find one that is. <laughs> Thank you. Too ruffly, and I, I, do, I do like straps. Because uh, it suits her body type. She loves straps. Yeah, well, I'd love straps on her. You want straps. <laughs> I want straps. Right. want straps. I'm hoping he listens to the woman who knows about the dress, who knows what she's talking about, that he actually sits and goes, OK, I'm listening to you. Nope. Now, there's always an option with one of these. I just don't like that. Sorry. <laughs> she just want to hear my option. Today, <laughs> Lorna hates her job. Meanwhile, Geraldine and the girls are looking for the perfect dress. Remember, the rule is, she can try, but she can't buy. And while Dave is let loose in a dress shop, she's having a reality check. I'm hoping that I actually like it, that I'm not pretending to like it, that I actually do like it. I will be a very emotional person anyway. So if uh, something I don't like, I'll be vocal. He'd have a pretty good idea on the day once we got it right or wrong. And if he got it wrong, boy, <laughs> look out, Dave. <laughs> but for now, Geraldine is in wedding dress heaven. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Geraldine, do you want to come out? Sure. Yeah. Oh my God. 
Don't you think? Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I just love it. I think it's classy and elegant. It's lovely. Would you like to try a veil with it? Yeah. Geraldine just loves trying on wedding dresses. But just when it was going so well... Yeah, I just feel a bit funny about the veil. So you prefer maybe to uh, not wear a veil or maybe go for a different headpiece? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I think so. No veil? Mum is not happy. Um, no. No, veil. <laughs> no, don't tell me. Seriously, a veil, a veil is nice. It finishes off the dress. It is, is a wedding nice, day. Yeah. Yes, it is a wedding day. You're mad about the veils. Oh, I have to say, though, it is the bride's day. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I am the mother of the bride. I'm mean, tight to have a seat. Um, <laughs> Mum and Geraldine can argue over the veil all they like. It's Dave who's buying the dress. What do you reckon, Gav? I like it. But. But. What's the but? The but is, will Geraldine like it? Good question. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'd like to see a belt on it though. See what it looks like with a belt on, what do you reckon? I think it'd be too much, but what do I know? <laughs> you see, the belt doesn't have to be a sparkly one. You can get a plain one, you can get lace ones, you can get... I'm assuming they come in all different shapes and sizes. I think that, that breaks it nicely. I think it's nice. Genius. Just what every wedding dress needs. A belt. I don't think it does anything for it. Geraldine, would you like to come out? Back with the ladies, and things have calmed down a bit as Geraldine finds another dress. It's quite a different look. Yeah. Different. The best yeah. is beautiful, Geraldine. I love it. It's yeah. gorgeous. And no belt. Just as much as the first one. I have to say, Geraldine, I, I prefer that one. No, I really loved the two of them. I just don't know how is Dave going to do it. Dave is going to do it his way, of course. So just exactly what is he looking for? Yeah, I like that a lot. But it looks wealthier, I think. The dress looks wealthier? What does that even mean? This entire package, the headpiece, the, the veil, the dress, the alterations, that would come in at €1,700. Euro. Oh, that's why it looks wealthier. Yeah, and that's, nearly, that's nearly 20% of my... I could do the alterations myself and I, I could do a lot of the work myself with making the veil and that and I could bring the price down a bit then. We could probably talk about 1,400 euro for the loss. 1,400 euro is still 15% of my entire budget. I appreciate that. I can't really go below 1,400 euro for the entire package. Then I, I can't have the dress that I like. It's 15% of the budget, but it could make or break the whole wedding day. Is skimping on the wedding dress really the way to go? This is a very similar idea. It's from an older collection, so we can bring the price down. A lot down? Yeah. In normal life, I'm very frivolous with money. I'd, I'd just spend what I have, no problem. But uh, I can't do that now. I have to rein in the horses, hold back the bull. But is Dave holding back the bull or just talking it to save money? Well, it does have a lot of the same features as the, per the more perfect dress. <laughs> the ideal dress. The ideal dress, yes, the ideal dress. And it's within budget. Poor Gavin can't keep quiet any longer. You could, like, push your budget a small bit out. 15% though, of the entire. If there was no budget, would you be happy with that dress? Yeah. Would you? Yeah. Are you just saying that? There's no. just no helping some people. This one. Porter friend? No, done. So you're in luck with this one because it was just included in our sample sale and it, they've just been reduced down to 500 euro with the veil and headpiece. If we say maybe 650 for the whole lot. Six. 650 for the whole lot and we'll, we'll be happy, we'll both be winning. 650 in the shoes. 650 in the shoes. Those shoes, yeah, yeah. perfect. Done. Dave may have saved 750 euro, but will he pay the price on his wedding day? I think I got it right. I hope I got it right. <laughs> now Dave is on the wedding campaign and he summoned his troops, Gavin and Barry, to gather in the war room at his mum's house. He's got his mother driven demented because he's drilled holes in her walls to put the uh, whiteboards up all over the wall. I don't think she appreciated that too much, but it, it's handy, it, it works well. It works well to get everything up and listed in front of us and know exactly where we're going or where we think we're going or where we might be going. Mum may have holes in her walls, Dave and the lads seem to have a few holes in their plans. Do we know where the church is? I think he has a decided... Have we decided on a church? Dave. Have I decided... Have I decided on, on a... Church? church. Yeah, Clada. Clada Church, perfect yeah. stuff, okay. 
The problem with letting a man handle things is that boys do like their toys. Hello, Sean. How are you doing? This is uh, David Renton here. Uh, I was just ringing to inquire about uh, your pink Cadillac. He has absolutely mental ideas. The other day he was talking about having stormtroopers at the church. I think they're being given away by Darth Vader. I pulled the reins back on a few of those things because I don't think Jer wants it to go a tacky direction either. She's a classy girl, so I can imagine her looking for a nice traditional wedding. How would you feel about wearing an Elvis suit? He'll wear, he'll wear one if we have one. No, oh, well, that's extra brownie points. I'm putting a star beside your name as we speak. Thank Dave you. may not be classy, but he could do with a class in how to manage budgets. I'm concerned that the money's just going to go gone. But no, I'm, I'm hoping the logic side will kick in. Seriously, like that he'll go, no, I need a plan. I think he's over budget at the moment. I think he's going to remain to be over budget until we start cutting things back a bit. So hopefully this afternoon I'll sit down with him and work the figures and show him how to use the calculator again. So I had 600 down for transport, but he's down to 550 now. Which is taking my bot bottom line down 50 quid, so I'm at 10, 9. Over budget and running out of time. It's not looking good. You're scheduled to be married in 192 hours, you'll have your photograph, you're going to be getting your photographs taken. Yeah. 192 hours. Yeah, okay. And we have no venue. Okay. <laughs> 192 hours is eight days, but whatever way you add it up, this is an emergency. Blissfully unaware, Geraldine is off to look at the kind of wedding venue she expects from Dave. My dream wedding day would definitely be something traditional, a church wedding a lovely ceremony and then a fantastic castle a beautiful beautiful castle with loads of greenery and beautiful trees and just it would be gorgeous you know a real elegant castle full of history good afternoon geraldine Hi, ladies yeah. you're all very welcome to tremoland if you'd like to follow me this way i'm going to show you down oh this place is gorgeous guys isn't it Absolutely. full of history fabulous. so do you think it. mr dave would pick a place like this Hope so. <laughs> I mean, I really, really hope so. Uh, Thank you very much. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Ah, uh, he will. He will. He knows well, what you like. So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he knows what I like, but what I like. What? Yeah, and what he likes. What he likes are two different things. Geraldine's looking for grandeur, trees, and history. Dave's priorities are a little different. Wow factor for me could be anything from a ceiling, an interesting ceiling, to the way the bar is shaped, to the, the, the bridal suite. It, it could be, it could be any, any number of things. You just have to go in and see if something jumps out. Be afraid what the venue is going to be like, you know. You see, Dave, he could kind of run away with ideas. He's very much like he could see a place and he can imagine it in a different way than what you or I would see it. Now, gentlemen, so welcome to our bridal suite. As you can see, we have a separate dining lounge area. It also has its own little kitchenette. Because you wouldn't see many of them in, in many places, are you? No, no, you certainly wouldn't. It's, it's a convenient facility to have. Guys, look at this. Oh, my God. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, I want it, I love it, I need it. It's oh, gorgeous. It's, fabulous. it's like a little apartment, isn't it? It is like a little apartment. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, look my at God. that. See that oh, Geraldine, look, it's fabulous. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, Geraldine. Come on, Mary. You know you have to. You know you have to. I just give it a little sit down. Oh, it's. Oh. Hopefully, he'll pick something like this chair. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> She likes castles and lakes. Dave prefers hotels named after lakes. Okay, Jen, so this is one of our <laughs> two bridal suites. <laughs> so you have... Um, it's the size of my house. And all those little extras cost nothing extra. Everything you see here is included. So your chair covers, your sashes, your candelabras, candles, flowers. Dave's ideas aren't just big, they're colourful. Purple will go in this room fine. Purple and sunflowers are my, are my, my colours. Yeah. Purple is the, the, the colour for the NPS Society, which is the condition my son has. And it's, it's also my it works out well because it's my favourite colour as well. Yeah. And sunflowers are Jer's favourite flower, so I just want to bring that in. Yeah, that's perfect. So purple and gold, I think, could, could go very nicely in this room. Now 
for bridal suite number two. That's one big bed. Dave needs to remember that when he makes his bed, he might just have to lie in it. Because Geraldine has seen the venue of her dreams. Oh, guys, look at this. Oh, they saved the best for last. Oh, my God, look at it. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at the top table. I know, I know. Do you see yourself sitting cast? there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This, this is what I'm talking about. Absolutely. And even centrepieces, look at it. Yeah. Aren't they lovely, Tara? Oh, I love it. So if Dave doesn't pick a castle, what's going to happen? I'll wring his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all is not lost. Dave still hasn't booked anything, and there's one more venue on the list. I've chosen the Ordalon because it's got a lovely driveway up to it. It's uh, set on a very well-to-do street, Taylor's Hill in Galway, as well as uh, it has a, a fantastic reputation for weddings. So this is our ballroom, set for numbers of 100, 120. Is that what you're looking at, David? It is, yeah. Yeah, do you think Geraldine will like it? Of course she will. Yeah. It's, it's lovely. It's very spacious, ideal for numbers of 120. You'd have all round tables in the room, and everything you see is included. So you have your tall, luxurious candelabras, your tea lights and your mirrors, all your delf to match the room, your crisp chair covers. The lads are sold on the glamorous Ardalone. Now all they have to do is sell the idea to Dave. I think this is a far better option than Loch Grey. I think the room is more Geraldine. It's not just the room, it's the whole aspect. Coming down that drive with the trees overhanging. It seems the only advice Dave has ever taken is never take advice. From my perspective and the way I feel about it, I think the other one's better. It's your decision. Regardless of what everybody else thinks. It's your decision. You're just asking us what we think. So what does it we're telling you? I've never been to a wedding in a castle, so I'd like to start with mine in a castle. <laughs> That'd be nice. This is what I think, I don't know her as long as you, but I think this is what Geraldine would want. I could be a million miles wrong. That's you. I think she'd like the warm, comfortable, classic, classic feel. But why decide now? There's days to go before the wedding. So back to the war room for another powwow. I'm thinking these two have more of a wow factor than Flannery's. I just don't think the rooms are going to be able to accommodate in the way I have in my head. Plus it's in your back garden, you see it every single day, you want to have somewhere that's new, different, not something that you see on a regular basis. Yeah, you're right. Okay. So, I think Gerard would like the drive into the Ardalan. It's just a great room. Actually, the hotel is great. And I think, I think she'd love it, absolutely love it. My heart's just not in it. I think I'd be, I'd be disappointed. Yeah, but would Geraldine's heart be in it? Geraldine who? I'd be disappointed. I'm not going to go through all this and be disappointed on my own day. Uh-oh. He said, my day, not a good sign. At the moment, it just feels like as if it's two against one. We, I don't want to gang up on you. It is ultimately your day and Jerry's day. So, um, well, we, we better talk budget-wise. So, I mean, how do both these places fit into the budget? I'll make a phone call now and we'll see if it's a final offer. So, it's the battle of the budgets. First, Anne-Marie from the Ard alone. Um, can you go any lower on 40 euros or throw anything else in? That is the best price we can do. Okay. Can, I, can I get back to you real quick? No problem at all. That's absolutely perfect. Thanks very much, Anne Marie. With the Ardalone and Anne Marie holding firm on 40 euro per head, Dave calls Helen from the Lockray Hotel. If you could do it for 38, we'd be willing to book now. How would you feel about that? Um, how would I feel about the 38? Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, we could nice one. Yeah, Brilliant, okay. 38, job done, thank you. Done? 7 11 11. 7 11 11. 12. 7 11 12. When you book this late in the day, every penny counts, and the two euro difference ends up making all the difference. Lock Ray it is. But to Geraldine, it's all still a great big mystery which is probably just as well. You know, as the time's going on, and I feel like I know less and less, yeah, that's kind of stressful. I'm hoping by now he has a wedding dress, one that fits me preferably and that I like. I'm hoping he has a venue. I'm hoping he has a date, a church. I hope it's all done. I mean, by now, it should be. Enough forgotten flowers, cars, centerpieces. Oh my God, yeah, you're stressing me out. <laughs> Now for two things that seldom go together well. 
a groom and his bridesmaids. I've set aside 200 euros for, for the dresses. I know it's going to be tight, but I'm hoping we can strike a deal. Well, they're a big priority for the two girls, so I'm not sure they let me slide on this one. I would stand my ground if we picked out a dress that I know that just would not suit me. There might be a little bit of an argument, but I'm sure I get my way. And that's before they even get started. But they better get it sorted, because these girls won't be around for long. I'm just out on my lunch break, so I really only have about 15, 20 minutes to go looking around, trying something, and hopefully we will get it today. 200 euro, 15 minutes. The bridesmaid challenge starts now. That's good, that's good, that's not. This is where we're kind of drawing the line here. This? No, don't, no. Like, the neck. don't like the neck and the chest on this. What do you think, Dave? If it comes in purple, you're on. So yeah. you're more, more, more the colour? More the colour, yeah, and it, it needs to be purple. And whatever you guys are comfortable in, and if it fits in budget, you're game ball. There isn't really a purple dress here that's jumping out at me. You know? It's just the one tied to the hangers. I know, yeah, but compared to... What did you find? This is, right. this is perfect. Feel this in purple. In Galway City, Geraldine is about to meet a man trying to do an Elvis impression and looking a lot like a man trying to do an Elvis impression. I'm just worried about, you know, like I said, he forgets people. Like, that's, that would be a main worry. And the dress would be a main worry. And that he's, has he got the kids dressed? I don't know. So nobody's told me nothing. Do you know? Hoping that Geraldine finds out the date, it would be great. Be a kind of a start of a little bit of pressure off her if she did find it out. Here's the first clue to the rest of your life. Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so a little less conversation, a little more action, please. Come on, baby, I'm tired of talking. Grab your coat and let's start walking. Now quicken your pace and get to Galway's famous meeting place. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I have no idea where he's talking about. Dave means that special place where they met and fell in love. Where's that again? Or do you, when you're in Dave, we're here, do you meet anywhere? Moon's Corner, well, it used to be Moon's. Brown Thomas Corner is where we'd meet Not up. Not the square. Try the square. Try the square, yeah. Not fair off the square. Yeah, okay, alright. Okay, so Galway's famous meeting place. So it's a mystery tour, perhaps even more of a mystery than Dave intended. I, th I think it's Moon's Corner. No. Where do you think? Oh, you're square. We're, you're meeting place, I meet you in square. So is that, is that right? Place, yeah. yeah, I know. It is, it's I know, but listen, listen. Moon's Corner, because when me and Dave go shopping and we just Christmas shop for each I'll other. I'll best with you. I, I, oh, all right, so. <laughs> about that bet, ma'am, how much did you say? A thousand. <laughs> A thousand to you. Back at the shops, the That's clock lovely. is ticking on those bridesmaids' dresses. Less than five minutes before the girls head back to work. This is the type, definitely the type of style dress I would definitely get. How do you feel? I think it's lovely. It does remind me a little bit of my school, old school uniform, but... Does that dress come in a different colour? Can we get it in a different colour? Would it suit you? Oh, Can that, we get it on your side? That would suit me. We're the same kind of shape, so that would suit me. Well, if we don't find something else, this is your... Yeah, definitely. This is where your hat's hanging. Definitely. The only thing is, Dave, I have to go now. I have to head back to work, so... He's uh, mentioned that purple is his favourite colour. I didn't know that before. <laughs> he obviously loves purple. It's comfortable on both of you. Yeah. yeah. Right, if we can get it in purple and it's under budget, yeah. we're on to a winner. All right? I do. You can do it, Dave. You can do it. I do. Yeah. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for taking your lunch break off, anyway. All right, see you. Bye. Dave's fondness for purple has left him a man at a dress fitting with no one to fit. Get a bit panicked now. I've no one to try on dresses and they're not going to fit me very well. Is there any chance you have this in another colour? Maybe approaching purple? Yeah. Even purple? Just let me take a look in the back. Oh, that's much better. Better. It's not the exact purple I was hoping for, but, but it's, it, it's not the school uniform blue. Yeah. Is it going to come in under budget? What can you do for me? Yeah, well, the dress is 210 euro. Okay. So for the two of them, I could do it for 400 for you. That's nearly twice what I'd budgeted for my bridesmaid really? dresses. Yeah. Oh, wow. Is there any massaging in that price? Not 200, no. Dave will have to do without a massage, and now he's completely on his own. So that was a bit of a disaster. We ended up finding a dress that suited both girls. It was comfortable on them. We almost got the colour right. Price just wasn't there. We're going to have to keep looking. Now Dave and Geraldine have something in common. They're both completely lost. I uh, know. They'd be here if it was going to be here. Yeah. Like, I mean. OK, well, we'll go back down to Moons. Yeah, it could be the middle door Moons. Finally, her favourite flower points the way. Oh, oh it's lovely. Sunflower. Mammy's lovely, isn't it? It's wonderful. <laughs> Sorry. 
Love me tender, love me sweet. Now you must go to the place that we did meet because I love you so. <laughs> Karma, baby. Come on this way. Geraldine has a surprise in store, but all Dave has in store is a department store and a tall order. Dresses for absent bridesmaids. I am thinking about going ahead and buying these dresses. They're under budget, they are my colour. I've got to get it boxed off. We've got to get it done today. I can just hope that they, they, that the fate will be nice for the girls. You do it for me on the price? Yeah. I can't tell the price. Student discount? We don't do student discount either. Nice no. person discount? No, I wish we could. <laughs> <laughs> I wish we could. No, I'm sorry, there's no discount on them. They fit the budget. Let's just hope they fit the bridesmaids. Take care. Bye. Meanwhile, an Irish man in a white jumpsuit hanging around on street corners. This can only mean one thing. And here is oh. the time and day to your wedding. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Oh, hang on. I need to go now. Really? Time is it? Oh, wow. Like a river flows surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things are meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life too. My beautiful juror, our wedding day is on Wednesday the 7th of November. Surprise starts at 9 a.m. Who cares if it doesn't rhyme? The bride has a date. It's lovely, it's a lovely idea. I don't know where you got off from. It's a lovely idea. Absolutely loved it. And the sunflowers, loved it. <laughs> Yay, I'm getting married next week. <laughs> I can't wait. I have a date, I'm happy. That's all I wanted. Happy now. I'm real life getting married. <laughs> Let's not pretend. Real life. Oh my God. Bananas, absolutely. The wheels have been turning very slowly so far, but that's about to change. It's time for the stag. I'm having a great night so far. I'm just trying to switch off from wedding planning, take, it, take a couple hours off and back at it tomorrow morning. Why is a grown man wearing a pink bib, you might ask? We have no idea. And the lads aren't exactly singing off the same hymn sheet. We've got four days to go. We've still got no suits, no cake, no photographer, no flowers. I think we've earned the night off tonight. Uh, myself and the two boys have done an awful lot of work and we're hoping things have really come together. We're over budget, we're totally underplanned. I seem to have started at a slow pace and gradually increased. I think things are at full pace now and uh, hopefully everything will be perfect for the day. If it comes together, I'd be very surprised. Let's hope he drives carefully. This wedding's already a bit of a car crash. Geraldine's hen night is, is going on as we speak over across the other side of town. So I wanted to do something a little bit different, make it a different sort of a night, something she'll remember. They're going to have a great night, I hope. <laughs> yes, the girls are letting their hair down with some very scary wigs, having a good old wiggle at the 70s disco. That's my surprise, Geraldine joined us, great crack, even like, I know I look ridiculous, but it's fun. I hope this has given me no indication of a clue as to what Dave's arranged for the wedding. Um, no, I'd, I'd freak out if it was a theme. This is great for a hen life, but like a wedding is completely different. And from a 70s disco to some guys with all the rhythm of men in their 70s. Very, very positive. I know I still have a bit of stuff to do, but everything's in the pipeline. You know, I'm just waiting on confirmation. I'm confirming things all the time. Although we're supposed to be enjoying the stag right now, we're still thinking about the wedding and what still has to be done, what has to be organised, what has to be confirmed, what's the budget looking like. We're still thinking wedding all the way. Meanwhile, for Geraldine, a little bit of love in a glass. And tonight, Geraldine, I'm going to make one of your signature cocktails, a Love Me Tender. If you want to take a scoop full of ice. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Like a pro. Ooh, pro. Icing cocktail. And another little bit. <laughs> Twice. I think Geraldine is, uh, she's missing Dave. He's coming very close to the wedding day, so, you know, she's looking forward to seeing him. It'd be nice when they're together again, you know? She's in love. She's all shook up. Geraldine is about to see the wedding dress she'll walk down the aisle in tomorrow. But one important member of her team is missing. Mam actually didn't come today because she actually wants the surprise. And plus this veil thing, like we all know she's an issue with the veil. So if there isn't a veil, it's kind of best she doesn't see it straight away until the wedding morning, you know? Like I can't believe um, it's actually tomorrow that she is getting married, you know? But um, as long as she's happy, that's the main thing. If I don't like it, I don't know, I'm hoping we can do a swap scene in the shop or something. Fortunately, swapping's not an option because then she might find out that Dave bought a sample to save money. Real excited. Yeah. yeah. Are you looking forward to seeing the dress? Yeah. Nervous? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to love it. Come on, let's go okay. have a look. Lovely. Oh. First a glimpse, then on with the blindfold, and emotions are already running high. She's my first sister to get married, so um, we're all a little bit worked up over it, you know. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just I'm dying to see her. Just dying to see her, her reaction to it. As long as she's happy, it's all that matters. Across town, Dave and two of the family's most handsome men are also getting fitted for the big day. Who's the best spy? You're the best spy. <laughs> no. Are you in school tomorrow? No. No? no. Of course you are. No, I'm not. Why? I'm not in school tomorrow. Why? Because I'm going to my mom and dad's wedding. Ah. Oh. Ta da! Now there's a hard act to follow. And on top of that, Gavin and Barry seem to have a groomzilla on their hands. He's extremely stressed and like last night it was the first time I just said to him, listen, I'm not talking to you anymore, just go to bed and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. So, but that's the first time I've ever had to maybe have a little bit of a crossword with him. Having insisted on purple for the bridesmaids' dresses, Dave is determined that Gavin and Barry will toe the line. So Dave, tell me why you want purple. It's purple is the, purple is the colour for the wedding, we've got purple and sunflowers. So, I mean, I need something from our side to match. We wear some flowers, flowers instead. Yeah. Some flowers are good. When they, when, they, when they arrive, flowers on your buttonhole. I think what we should do is try on the cream and come back out again. Yeah, and let's see the And difference. have a majority vote. You can try on the cream, lads, but I'm still in the purple camp. Things are a bit more peaceful with the girls. Time to reveal the dress that Dave has chosen for Geraldine. <laughs> Sorry. Where am I going? I'm going to walk straight ahead here. OK, and you're just coming to the pedestal now if you want to stand up. OK. Can you feel it? Yeah. OK, you're perfect. You're right in the middle. Now the moment every bride dreams of, we hope. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love to watch the joke. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I love the sleeves. Yeah. Oh, it's gorgeous. It's nothing what I would think, you know? I know, yeah. yeah. Oh, but I love it. I can't believe you picked that dress. You've one hell of a man, journey. Stop. Oh, good man, Mr. Renton. I'm marrying Sasha. <laughs> Oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. Detail in the oh, back is gorgeous. stunning. Yeah, the meat. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look. It's fabulous. It's beautiful. The man's good taste. Yes, he did good. He does. Yeah, he's yeah, married yeah. me, lads. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the girls might think he's a hell of a man, but right now he's making life hell for Gavin and Barry. Look how well we look. Huh? Doesn't this look amazing? It does, but that's what I'll be wearing, and you can't look the same as me. What's oh, you're afraid? doing that thing. You're doing that thing where the ugly bride gets two uglier girls to be your bridesmaids. You're <laughs> trying to make us look stupid. It's the purple cravats and the purple and the purple handkerchiefs. That's the only way we can do it. But you are admitting how well we look now. It's the night before me. Where'd you get into your purple Does fucking ties? How about that? No, there's not. You look You'd look better in purple, lads. With everything else that's going yeah. on, I'd like to have something easy. Thank, Thank you. you. We've got little without time. an argument. The bridesmaids were easier to dress, I can tell you that much. They were grand. These two bloody prima donnas. I want this, I want that, I don't like it. Prima donnas are purple. Just an example. Yeah, I don't like it. Back with the bride-to-be and one final touch. <laughs> oh my God, look. <laughs> oh, it's gorgeous. Oh. Lovely. She's off again. <laughs> gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I just think she looks absolutely beautiful. I cannot believe that a guy could pick a dress that is so beautiful, that fits her so well. The veil is stunning with it. I absolutely love it. It fits so well and it just feels so easy to move in and I think he's thought of everything. I love it. And Mammy's going to be happy. <laughs> I'd love to tell him tonight to relax. It's OK. It's all going to be OK. Like, I know his heart's in the right place. And I'm really excited to see him. I should get married tomorrow. <laughs> the perfect dress. But will it be the perfect day? Jer's mum's house in Athenry. The big day has arrived. It's an early start. Hair, makeup, champagne, and a toast. But Phil has something far more important on her mind. I just hope she has a meal. That's all I'd like to see. The reveal in your dress, Geraldine. Well, Ma, 
You're going yes. to have to wait, I know. It's not complete without the veil, Jordy. Poor mum. She doesn't like waiting. But first, it's time for the bridesmaids. I'm dying for her to see the dresses because um, the shape of them and the colour of them are beautiful. It's the colour that she wanted. These are the bridesmaids' dresses that were bought without the one thing you might think is essential. The bridesmaids. Wearing all our gorgeous guys. We had no time to go shopping with them because we were on our lunch breaks. So he actually went to pick these himself without us. Pick them by himself. By himself. We weren't with them. He didn't ring you or not? No. Nope. No. Nope. The biggest shock I got was that he went into a shop himself and got them without the girls. I think they're stunning dresses. They're lovely. The colour is fantastic. It's a lovely deep purple. Purple is um, the MPS ribbon. The condition Ethan has. Purple is the little ribbon we wear internationally around the world. So it's in recognition of the condition Ethan suffers from. So it means a lot to both of us. So it's lovely that he did a purple. So he did a great job. He's a keeper. <laughs> yes, he's just not a very good timekeeper. I don't really know what time the wedding is at, but I'm guessing it's soon enough as everybody's getting dressed. So it has to be pretty soon. There's no flowers here, so I'm a bit anxious as to whether or not he's forgotten flowers. But I don't think he would, so I don't know if he's left it deliberately a bit later than he would expect them to arrive, maybe. Less than an hour to go. Even a magician couldn't get them to the church on time. But he could present Geraldine with the special gift that Dave has been planning. That's lovely. So how are you going to make this uh, appear? What are plans? Uh, basically, I'm just going to introduce fire. Cool. I'm going to be taking a bit of the fire, and then when the fire goes off my finger, the chain uh, will be hanging from my hand. That's going to look cool. <laughs> Hopefully I don't okay, set her yeah. hair on fire. No, no. <laughs> the groom is playing with fire. That doesn't always end well. Meanwhile, Geraldine breathes a sigh of relief and gets a last-minute delivery. Oh, how are you, Dave? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm you nervous as hell. Oh, look at the cookies! Oh, With a touch of magic already arranged, time for Dave to add a touch of Vegas. Did you get the Elvis costume? We do. Brilliant. Looking what do you good. <laughs> Top of the church. <laughs> do you, David? Oh. Funny how something can seem like a good idea at the time. Oh, how do you feel? Ready. You all set? Yeah. So deep breath now and just enjoy it. Yeah. Okay? Mm-hmm. You're all right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go. The bride feels ready, but the boys don't look it. Unless Dave's getting married in a tracksuit. Where's your in the car is? I don't care. Do you reckon she's in the car? No, no. Do you reckon she's ready? No. Do you reckon she's going? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah, fine. She I can't wait to get rid of her. Get out. Do you want we might need a backup plan. <laughs> I'll marry you, it's fine. Dad, yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah. He looks better in the dress. Yeah. Now the family finally get to see the dress that Geraldine will walk down the aisle in. That's the finished project. And Mum gets her veil. Ah, uh, Gerard. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Oh, gorgeous. Did and Dave do well? Yeah. He wasn't going to forget the veil. No. Here comes the magician. Stand by with the fire extinguisher. For you first. Um. Oh, cool! <laughs> it may only be a little flame, but to Geraldine, it's a hunk a hunk of burning love. She's lost for words. Unfortunately, her transport is just plain lost. Dave, yeah. you need to ring the Cadillac man, he's a bit confused. Hello, Sean, how are you? It's David Renton. You need to follow the signs for the, uh, for the, for the Galway, the M6 motorway. So that's where the Elvis costume went. A pink Cadillac. Geraldine is finally on the way to her wedding, wherever that is. But Dave is having trouble marshalling his troops. Get off the phone. I'm going to have to run. <laughs> we're going now, we're going now. We're actually walking out the door as we speak. Back in the caddy, Dad is not being very helpful. So where are we going? We, we could actually be going to Vegas, you know? We could be. Graceland even. <laughs> hey? Don't be teasing me, Dad. Would Graceland. you like to go to Graceland? Elvis, are we going to Graceland? You are. Dave didn't have enough left in the budget for a talking Elvis. He's starting to worry that they might really have gone to Graceland. Straight through, Elvis. 
What time is the mass at? One o'clock. Oh, Jesus, Dad, it's five to two. Yeah. Poor Dave. Turn that off and get to the church, Dad. Hello? We'll be there in five minutes now. Is the cloud a church? I don't know, but that's a church there. Only up here at this light. Uh, yeah, it is the cloud of church. Finally. After the three longest weeks of their lives, Geraldine and Dave are reunited. Wear this ring is a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Wear this ring is a sign of our faithful love. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So much to miss me. Loads. Really loads. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. really like crying yourself to sleep tonight. No, Don't lie, Dave, you were. <laughs> Reception time! Woohoo! <laughs> and let's hope it gets a good reception from the bride. Uh, the La Cray Hotel is the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <Yee>! <laughs> the weather is pure Galway. But the welcome is Las Vegas. Very difficult to get out of here. Huh. You look fantastic. Sorry for keeping oh. it. Hi, yeah, Helen. Oh, yeah. How are you? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much, Helen. Thank you. Helen, Jerling. Carl, this is Jerling. Thank you. Hi, Carl, Thank you. 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 And Dave's work earns him a standing ovation, not to mention kisses from the missus. I'm thoroughly enjoying the day. The venue itself, I had no idea. I'm shocked that we came back out here. I didn't. I wasn't expecting it. It's gorgeous, like, it's really nice. Just when I think he's done with all the surprises, more keep coming. So it's lovely. I'm, I'm having a ball. He has had a million ideas. It has come together. And on a really soppy note, an incredible guy got an incredible girl today, and they're both really happy, and that's the main thing. And Jordan is very happy, and that's the main thing. Yeah, and the kids Absolutely. are happy. And we're happy. Then it's over. <laughs> You're beautiful. And I'm so proud you are of it. I'm very proud of Dave today. He's done a fantastic job. Um, he really pulled out all the stops. I think it went above and beyond anything I could have even imagined for a wedding. I don't feel our relationship has changed at all. I think we were always this fabulous. Yeah.